Question 62. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by f1 equals 1, f2 equals 1, and f of n equals f of n minus 2 plus f of n minus 1 for all integers n greater than 3. What's the minimal number of d flip-flops required, along with combinatorial logic to design a counter circuit that outputs the first seven Fibonacci numbers, then wraps around? A little bit complicated here. There's a lot. There's a lot to this problem uh, that some of which I can't cover. But basically, let's take a look at this first. What are the first uh, seven Fibonacci numbers? Well, it gives us the first two. F of one is one. F of two is one. Then f of n is f of n minus two plus f of n minus one. So basically, uh, the second one's one plus one, which is two. The next one is 2 plus 1, which is 3. The next one is 2 plus 3, which is 5. Then 5 plus 3, which is 8. And then we have 5 plus 8, which is 13. So these are the first seven numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. So what happens? we build a state diagram. The state diagram just goes sequentially like this and then wraps back around. So that's our state diagram. How many numbers are in the state diagram? In other words, how many states are there? Seven. So, <clears throat> to, uh, to make a um, uh, uh, counter circuit, to design a counter circuit using D flip-flops, what's the minimum number of D flip-flops you need? Well, basically these are binary type of um, uh, tools here, so you're going to need 2 to the n, where n is the number of states. You don't have to necessarily use the actual number to identify the state. You could call this state 000 and call this state 001, this state 00, 010 and so forth. So we have 7, and so we're going to need 2 to the 3 equals 8 states. We really only need 7 states, but we're going to need at least, we're going to need at least three, 3 of these uh, D flip-flops in order to achieve the state diag the, 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 the state table for this particular state diagram. So the answer, the, the short answer to the question is A. We're going to need three, three D flip-flops. That's the minimum number. For more information on this question, you may want to read through uh, about Fibonacci numbers, about uh, D flip-flops and so forth. But if you get the basic idea that, that the D flip-flop is a binary uh, thing and you need to put these, this uh, state diagram into a table, that's enough to get the, uh, the question right on the test.